Joining us once again is our legislator, and his name is Josh Lafasan. Welcome to the show. How are you? Thanks for having me as always. I first met you, I can't even remember when I first met you, but you've been doing so many great things in the community. But I believe it's when you came to speak about Nassau Community College, which you once were an attendee there, mm -hmm. right? So let's talk about that. Let's talk about your educational journey. Sure. So I started in Nassau Community College and wound up at Harvard. And I talk about how this process of going to community college and how it's a springboard to, for so many kids across the country to transfer to a four-year to learn a trade and how we should be investing in these community colleges as crown jewels in our communities. Lovely. Now, financial literacy is one of the things that you talk about. You also talk about mental health. You have a lot of different platforms. But today, let's talk about what you're doing in financial literacy area. Sure. So I believe it's super important that we teach kids not just the core subjects of English and math and social studies, but how do we set kids up for sound financial futures? You know, at 18 years old, you can become an authorized user on your parents' credit cards. Are we teaching kids about, you know, how a credit score works and how to set up a credit score for life? Are we teaching kids about how to start a business and all the government grants through the SBA? So unfortunately, there's so much that kids are, are, are learning on the internet and it's, it's wonderful, but we should be teaching kids sound financial skills in schools to set them up to be the, really the, the masters of their own destiny in the future. Even clubs, you know, there's so many clubs, but there could be, and there probably is in some school districts, a financial literacy club. Sure, so, you know, every 18 year old wants to open up a Robin Hood account or wants to open up a Stash account, and this is wonderful, but uh, we, we wanna give kids the tools to allow them to, to basically fulfill their dreams, right? At 18 years old, you know, you're not thinking about the fact that you're gonna be 65 one day, and are you putting money into a Roth IRA? that you'll be able to take out tax-free down the line? Are we teaching kids about the importance of putting money into their 401ks? Uh, and really what it speaks to is my philosophy of government, that government's about so much more than just uh, you know, passing budgets and raising our hands uh, for votes over in Mineola. Government is about helping people just enjoy their lives and, and helping people set themselves up for success. And government should be energetic and optimistic and think outside the box. And as a young legislator, I think it's my job to do so. And are you hoping that this is what you'll do, that you'll be in service like for all the decades of your life? So is like, what is your, what is your intention? Sure. So I'm, okay. tw I'm 28 years old and I got, I got elected at 18. So, yes. so I got elected to my school board of education as a high school senior. I've been doing this for 10 years now. Uh, I, I tell my young interns that life is very long and I don't know what the rest of my life will look like, but I know that public service is the most gratifying thing I've done in my life. I know there is, uh, nothing I enjoy more than making the difference in the life of somebody else, uh, especially if that person's a constituent of mine. And so long as the people in Nassau County continue to put their trust in me and elect me as their legislator, uh, I'll love serving every single minute. Do you check in with other communities across the United States to find out maybe the programs that are working on behalf of others so I that do. you can emulate them? Because I, I know people emulate us here in Long Island, but are you also doing the reverse? I do, and I think it's unfortunate that governments often operate in silos, right? So I was a school board member, and I love speaking to school board members in Minnesota and Michigan and California because we don't have a monopoly on good ideas here. <laughs> uh, and so I'll tell you, as a school board member in Syosset, uh, I spoke with a school board member in Minnesota, and when she told me that her school had Wi-Fi and broadband so every kid could have three devices, and I could barely get a signal in the cafeteria here, uh, we upgraded our broadband system. Right. And so there's a cadre of young elected officials uh, who want to talk to each other. And so I wrote a book, Political Gladiators, and I interviewed 30 of these young elected officials all under the age of 30. It's amazing the ideas and energy that young people have. Uh, we are the most diverse. We are the largest and most educated generation in the history of this country. Uh, and it's time we have a seat at the table. I love that. Well, you have a seat at my table right here. Um, Josh, thank you very much. I truly appreciate you being here. Um, I just find you delightful. And whenever you're around me, yes, that my energy lifts. I already have like upbeat energy, but whenever you're around, I like it goes up a notch. So thank you so much. Stay tuned for more. And if you have considered running for office or, you know, being in service in your community, please, you know, reach out to your local town and figure out how to do that because that's what it takes. It takes people doing good works to make a difference. Thanks for watching.